She's coming. Protective custody. I'm not allowed to be out if there's other people around. If there's other oh, inmates, so, so I have to go to back to my cell. Yeah. Okay. So there's other people there. Well, right now, no. There's no other inmates okay. out. But if there's another okay. inmate that has to come in, I have to go back and I be gotcha. behind the I closed gotcha. door. So. I got gotcha. you. It's for my that's own okay. protection. Well, Casey. No, but that's, that's what I'm saying. Bit. I I appreciate it in every way possible. Have you spoken with the psychologist or psychiatrist yet? Every single day. Okay. And that's who are I was talking to when I was sitting at the table. Are you able to freely speak with her? Or is that recorded? No, it's not recorded. So do you feel like you can open up to her? No. Okay. Understood. We've talked about how I feel about things, but I'm not opening up to someone that I don't know. The only person that I have would be Jose. I mean, for obvious reasons, he's someone that I... I know that I need to trust, that I've started to trust. And Are you able to be um, in the same room with him, or do you have to do yeah, like no, what we're we doing? Have, we have open meetings. Okay. Um, most of the time he can get my cuffs off at least, so that way I'm, you know, I'm still chained at my feet most of the time. But, you know, it's in contact, him and I sitting at the same table, and it's just us, so. Well, that's good that you get that personal contact with the outside. He a fought bit. for that completely. I know. So it's know. it's nice to have that contact, and I know that there's no way I can see you guys in person. That's something that I've asked time and time again. But I know that there isn't a single inmate that's allowed that right. Um, that right whatsoever, unless it's someone that's involved within you know the the police department or okay. an attorney. Dad said he has a couple of things he wants to talk to you about, honey. Okay. Okay, hang on. I know this might be a tough thing to answer. No, go ahead. But did you borrow something from anyone or remove it without their permission that Kaylee might be being held for? No. Well, I, I know that's a tough question, sweetie, but I just need to ask you. It's it's not a tough question, Dad. I mean, Mom well, knows the stuff that I had taken from her. We discuss that, you know, on numerous occasions. And with Amy, you know, I mean, I I feel guilty about that. I feel extremely guilty, but I was under a time of desperation. Well, well what do you mean what do you mean by that with time of desperation? I don't understand. Like I said to you, well, I said to mom and Lee and I have spoken and he advised me of something which is very smart. Um, the written contact will be better than anything that's going to be recorded since we can't speak openly, freely, in person. Okay. okay. Well, I don't want to take time then going into anything else. And I just, I want you to know, is there something that I can do for you, sweetie? I mean, I want you out of here. I know. I, mean, I want me out of here, too, as, as quickly as possible. But at the same time, I know that until we get the bond lowered as, as much as possible, which is probably going to take a lot, the police aren't going to drop any charges. That's pretty evident. Well, can so, I share something with you? Yeah. The longer and longer this drags on... The harder it's it, going to be. There's going to be maybe additional things that might hit everyone, and I don't want to get into that with you, but it's it's getting very, very crucial that we've got to get you out of here. If I could get you out of here right now, I would. But yeah. I want Kaylee back, too. That, again, Kaylee is my concern. If I have to stay in here... Outside of that, if I can get out and then have to come back, you know, I'll deal with whatever I have to myself that, in regard to me. Well, I, I want to be out. I want you to know. I want to take your pain away from you. So, you know, you can tell me anything. I know that, Dad. I miss you, sweetie. I know that. I miss you, too. I wish I could have been a better dad and better grandpa, you know? You've been a great dad, and you've been the best grandfather. Don't for a second think otherwise. Well, you know, you, you and Mom have been the best grandparents. 
Kaylee's been so lucky. Kaylee okay, is well. so lucky to have both of you. You, you. I can't even put into words how glad I am that she's had both of you. And that she still has both of you. You know, it goes without saying, you know, that our, our house is empty without both of you there. It's empty. All the little things we took for granted, we miss them so, so much. That's exactly all, how I feel. All your little things and all her little things, it's just, it hurts. We're not, we're not there. Mom and I are just going through the motions, you know? That night when I told Mom I couldn't be in the house, I knew that I couldn't be there and see that she wasn't there. I just wish you could have came to me sooner. I wish I could have come to anyone sooner. I wish that, like, like I said, that none of this would have happened. We, we can't go back of things we could have done or should have done. We just can just say we got to support each other f from here on. No. I know that. I love you guys so much. I just want you to know that. I wish I could have said something or have hugged you. Or at least spent a moment with you the day of the hearing. I know, sweetie. We felt the same way. I wanted to reach over and hug you and tell you I love you. And to stay at a distance is, even like right here, this is a distance. It's hard to be away from you. You know, to hold your hand to hug you. It's hard. It's hard. But we're trying everything we can to get the little girl back. We're trying. I know you are, guys. I know. It's, it's 24 hours a day, you know? I know. Mom wants if to I to can't, again. I know, Hold Dad, on. if I can't be there myself, I would rather it be you guys than anyone else. Okay. I want you to know.